The symbols now are the new, uh, they're just released at the uh, Winter NAM okay. in Los Angeles. They're the uh, Color Sound 900 series. They come in black, red, purple, blue, and uh, they're made out of the 2002 bronze alloy. Okay. okay. They're a little cheaper. Uh, I'll start off with the ride. This thing is a monster. It's a 24 inch Mega Bell ride. <laughs> yes, you can see it's a Mega Bell. This bell. <laughs> It rivals most church bells. But it has also a nice stick sound. It's not too overbearing. No. Nope. You can crash on it. It's got a lot of nice tones in it, you know? It's, I, I don't know if it's a jazz symbol. I don't know if you can play jazz on it, but. Uh, I like it. It's, uh, it sounds phenomenal. Okay, and actually, I'll tell you yeah. something. I picked, it's, uh, it's also a, a quite a heavy symbol. Yeah. And uh, I picked these symbols out on the internet. They have a sound, sound files. Uh, on, on the Pisces side? Yes. Or they, on the Geva side? On the Pisces side. Pisces, okay. They come in thin and heavy. Okay. And normally I like thinner symbols. Well, I use, normally I'm playing the 2002, which I think is a magical mm. alloy, especially for rock. And uh, mm -hmm. well, it's not an all purpose symbol, but I like it for the style of music I play. But they make thin and heavy. And I checked between the thin and heavy, and the heavies sounded more that they would work for me. And I could tell on the internet. I put headphones on and just checked each symbol. This is an 18 heavy crash, 19 heavy crash, 20 heavy crash. Okay. Very musical.
Beautiful symbols. And that's the typical thing for Paiste. They are totally consistent. Because yeah. when I was sitting behind the drums, what, what are the, the red? Um, they look like yeah. China's or oh, okay. effect symbols. Well, because yeah. they are both the same and they totally, totally sound the same. They are the same, yeah. But I, I do a little thing. Uh, yeah. I started doing this years ago. Uh, for some reason, it's very difficult for me to play a normal splash cymbal. Uh, so that's how they come. Okay. And you can see that, uh, I'll put it there so guys can hear how it sounds yeah. as a regular splash. Uh, it does, it doesn't have any power. You know, if I, you don't really hear it. I see, okay. So actually, I don't know, if you bend it back and forth, you'd probably put a, a rip in it sooner or later. But I do it once when I first get yes, them. Yes. I just put a little pressure, yes. turn it inside out. Right. These are eight, uh, sorry, these are tens. tens this yeah. is a 12. Okay. And I decided to go with the red finish because I thought we'll make all the uh, effect symbols red. Okay. Uh, the chinas, the splashes, yes. and the, this is a stack hat. I'll go over that a little bit later. But okay. Um, also, these symbols are relatively inexpensive okay. compared to the other higher level models, and they, yeah. they look beautiful. I think the, I like the red a lot. Maybe I should have gone all red. I don't and know. But. When it comes price wise, I, I had a look how much they cost. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, for everyone who watches it, just have a look at your local dealer because uh, everybody has uh, a small uh, other price range, so to <coughs> say, but they are really cheap. Yeah. They are really cheap symbols and they don't sound cheap. No, they sound, they sound really good. Yes. As a matter of fact, I record with this setup. I record, I make CDs with this setup. I'm mm -hmm. not messing around. I, right. I don't, you go, you know, hey, I play PDP and then go get like a high level mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah kit yeah, or whatever. I mean, you can hear it here <coughs> in our live stream. I mean, the sound yeah. is phenomenal, totally. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't have much uh, effect on these drums. I think they're, they're straight, right? They're dry. It's, they are, they are okay. straight. Of okay. course, we mix the drums, but, but it's, it's a normal live mixer we're using. Yeah. And um, what, kind of, um, what kind of hi hat do you use on your right okay. side? Okay, normally I use like a, I have a bottom hi hat symbol, a heavy four yes. 14, and then I like to have a PST. That's like the Swiss ah, cheese, yeah, yeah. the Swiss yeah, whole yeah, China. That one, yeah. That's a very cool symbol, but I decided to go with a red 16 inch. Uh, uh, color sound 900 yes. series that's they don't make a PSD in the 900 series so okay. I went with this and I went with a heavy 14 inch bottom and this kind of has a white noise you know sometimes if I'm playing odd time I like to ride between the two like kind of holds the time together for me and you still get the upbeat on the china or sometimes I do, in a solo, I'll do a, kind of an effect thing, like... Incorporate it into a fill. That sounds cool. Yeah. That sounds really cool. And right? these are also really musical. Nice. Okay, and then uh, above, I have the two 18-inch Chinas. Okay. I think they sound nice with the kick. <laughs> so they really, Crazy. they really work well together. They're very musical cymbals. And I think the, they record well. Yeah, absolutely. And this is a very nice hi hat. Normally, it's, it's a sound edge hi hat, right? Sound edge, yes. yes. They they don't uh, they don't make it in a fifteen. Oh, okay. But uh, they make it in the 14, and I like the sound edge because you can get that going. You get that going, and also, really a nice... Beautiful hi-hat. So that's cool. 